<sighs> so I'm not really a fan of in-ear TWS earphones. Most of the ones that I've tried and reviewed on this channel have just been a bit uncomfortable and on top of that don't really sound all that great. Plus I'm more of a fan of headphones as you know I feel that they sound better and are more comfortable for long usage. Still, they can be pretty uh, bulky and not really ideal for usage for when you're out of the house. So when Creative reached out to me and asked if I would like to try and review their Outlier Pros, well, I was actually super excited because as you know, Creative has been around for a very long time, ever since I was a little kid. And if there's anyone who knows good audio, it should be them as their sound blaster line even back in the day was legendary. The thing is though, can the outlier pros finally make me love TWS earbuds? Well, only one way to find out with a review of these guys, so let's get into it. Now the first thing that I noticed the moment that I opened the box was just how big and chunky the charging case that they came in was i mean come on tws earbuds are generally usually pretty small so their case isn't all that much bigger but this guy this guy's got some chunk it also wasn't really all that apparent how to uh, open this case i mean i thought that it was maybe some kind of a spring loaded mechanism but no you gotta push in the sxfi logo right here and that reveals the earbuds inside now the case itself is made of metal and plastic, but to be honest, it's all kind of feeling a little bit cheap, but I mean, who really cares about the charging case, am I right? It's all about the sound quality, yeah. The nice thing about the case though is that it charges via USB-C, I shouldn't really be saying that. All recent devices should be using Type-C and all those that are still using micro USB should be lambasted. You get charging light indicators on the charging end as well. Now, there is a 900mAh battery in the charging case, which Creative says you should be able to get about 4 uh, full charges from, so that's not too bad. But I think that one of the cool things about these uh, TWS earbuds is that you can charge them wirelessly using a uh, Qi wireless charger. I mean, it's not really all that unique, uh, I think a number of TWS earbuds right now are doing this, but come on, I still think it's pretty cool. So that's all that counts. When you open the case, the earbuds don't really go into a pairing mode just yet. You have to kind of, you know, pick them out of the case for them to do just that. And I mean, that's, that's a little bit of a nitpick, but I would have kind of liked it if they instantly uh, started pairing the moment that the uh, case was opened. So, Sticking them into my ears, I can easily say that these are the most comfortable pair of TWS earbuds that I have used, bearing in mind that I haven't really used all that many, so you know, uh, take that for what you will. Some quick specs, the Outlier Pros have 6 microphones in total, 3 for each uh, earbud, use Bluetooth 5.2 with support for AAC, HD audio and are rated at uh, IPX5 sweat resistance, so don't go dipping them in water. Now we get into the most important part of the earbuds, the sound quality, and I am going to say that these drivers um, in them only really shine at high volumes. What I mean by that is that at lower volumes, the audio coming out of them can sound really muffled and lacking in that crispness and clarity. And it's only when you punch the volume up to something like 95% do these earbuds actually sound good. But the problem is just that. They can be too loud for most people. In fact, it was just a little bit too loud for me. When cranked up, these earbuds sound great with nice crispiness, uh, still not that great for uh, vocal tracks as I find them to be a bit recessed, but definitely great for those who love bass heavy music like EDM, which I definitely listen to a lot of. A lot of these shortcomings can be remedied, although not perfectly by installing the creative app over on the Play Store and messing with the equalizer. 
the settings that I use uh, boost the mids and high frequencies to something that I feel sounds better. But you can, of course, try out any of the built-in equalizer presets in the app. And uh, you can also control the ANC settings in this app. You can turn it on, off, or enable ambient mode. And I found the active noise cancellation to have you know, moderate levels of noise cancellation. It wasn't really all that big of a difference to me between it being on or off. But the one thing that I did like, however, was turning it on didn't give me ears that, you know, felt weird with that pressurized feeling that some brands of earphones seem to do. Ambient mode, however, isn't really all that useful as I found myself hearing a lot of static and the sounds that you hear aren't that loud as well, which in the end still leads me to kind of, you know, taking off the earbuds to hear everything better. Microphone quality on these are pretty good. They do a pretty good job at cancelling any uh, outside unwanted noises. I have a air conditioning system running here. Obviously, you're not going to be wanting to use uh, these in a production workflow, but for normal calls, the person on the other end should be able to hear you just fine. Now, there isn't any ear detection, so your music won't automatically start or stop playing when you put them on or take them off, which I mean, I feel is quite okay. I never really liked that system anyway, as I found it to be quite finicky, and I found that the touch gestures on them weren't all that sensitive, which, well, I mean, it's, it's great so you don't accidentally do things like a play or pause or skip tracks when you're just adjusting or you know removing the earbuds but at the same time i didn't really find them all that intuitive uh to or you know quick to use so much so that i actually just rather prefer to use my phone to do whatever i need to do so each earbud has a 85 milliamp hour battery in them which creative says should last about 15 hours of playback on a single charge which honestly is pretty bloody awesome that's longer than most international flights and coupled with the case, you should get about uh, 60 hours of listening time. Before we move on to pricing, I want to say that my unit actually came a bit defective, not in a big way in that if I shake my head pretty vigorously, I can hear something loose in the right ear, but and while it doesn't seem to affect the audio quality, it's just a tad annoying. So I would say that it does make me slightly worried for the quality control that Creative has. So the uh, Outlier Pro costs 299 Malaysian Ringgit, which is about 67 US dollars, which honestly isn't really the cheapest TWS earbuds out there, but they aren't the most expensive ones either. I find them to be the most comfortable pair of TWS earbuds that I've ever used. They sound pretty good after some EQ and they also fill a gap for me versus the Cos KSC 75s that I love, you know, this guys, because these guys are open back, meaning that other people can easily hear to what I'm listening to, whereas with these, <laughs> I can listen to whatever I want in privacy, even in public, which is, you know, Great. <laughs> it's also super handy for listening to music or YouTube or videos or podcasts in a room with a sleeping baby and wife without waking them up. My long story short, with these is pretty much this. The Creative Outlier Pros aren't perfect, but I actually kind of like them. They satisfy the mild audiophile in me. They're pretty comfortable to use, even for TWS haters like me, and they just lasts for a really long time. So if you were asking if I recommended these, I would say, yeah, I absolutely would. You should definitely consider them if you listen to a lot of bass heavy music. That's it. That's the end of this review. If you liked my video, like it and comment down below. It helps with the algorithm and also share it if you found it useful. Also, don't forget to subscribe and well, yeah, don't forget to stay awesome. Yes. <laughs> My name is Yang, the Tech Rodent. And yeah, I guess to no surprise, it takes a company like Creative to actually get me to start using TWS earbuds. You do. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next review.